ratchets. I made this one out of cardboard. Posted this video to my Twitter account, and a few people expressed interest in making one for themselves. So here are some instructions in case you do want to make one for yourself. You start by cutting a circle of cardboard, divide it up into equal number of segments. I use 12 here. Now this card is a bit thin, so you need to bulk it up with some corrugated cardboard. Circles of the same size. I've glued two of them together, making sure that the orientation of the corrugations are at right angles for strength. You also have to pencil in where you will be cutting out the teeth of the gear wheel. Now, I'm going to use an exacto knife to do this. However, scissors would also work. The problem with scissors is that it squeezes the edge of the cardboard flat. Uh, however, I believe that would, could still be made to work. Now, I've done this rather unt untidily. You don't have to be tidy with this. This can still work even though it's a bit messy. Uh, you need to cut some smaller circles to act as spacers. Now for the pole, start with long rectangular strips of cardboard. Use a thumbtack to act as the shaft and now we are just trying out the gear wheel to find out where the pole is to be located. Now that first pencil mark is where the pole will be creased backwards. The pole is going to be cut out as an L shape as shown here and once that has been cut out with an X-Acto knife you crease the pole backwards along that initial pencil line. Then crease it forwards so it stands upright and that final bend, that is the pole. Now insert the spacer and the gear wheel and test it out to see if everything works. If it doesn't, well this is just a strip of cardboard, you can just try again moving the pole either closer to the shaft or further away. Once you got something that works, create two of them and again insert the spacer and the gear wheel and test out whether the ratcheting mechanism works. And once you're satisfied that this works, you can now glue everything together, add some creases so that you can close everything up. Oh, don't forget to cut out the window to display information as well. Final assembly, insert the spacer, insert the gear wheel, final test to make sure the two poles are engaging, close everything up. I haven't shown here where I add the final layer of glue, but before you close this top layer down, uh, do add in some glue there. I'm not using glue here, this is epoxy resin in order to secure the thumbtack shaft. And here's the final result. I'm using that little window to display the animals of the Chinese zodiac. And you'll note that it is now in a one-handed operated fidget non-spinner.